Hello guys and welcome to Asymmetrica, which is a free-to-play playtest game right now on Steam. Anyone can get it. Um, and if you like games like Subnautica, Planet Crafter, survival crafting games, basically, you're gonna, I think you're gonna find this interesting. So the premise is we have been involved in an exploded uh, spaceship and now we are caught here in our little rescue module. Our job is to survive and build a habitat that we can you know, use as a base for our further exploration. And of course, like any other game, we are left with a few items that will just get us by to begin with. We have two storage items and we have a fabricator. And this is more or less the same like in other games. You can see we have resources, we have consumables, we have equipment, and we have components. Um, but I would just suggest that we actually just follow the steps up here to, in the top right corner, which is uh, quests or missions, tutorial-like, and that will help us to get really good, a really good premise in the beginning to go somewhere else, improve. And you can see we just had a few food and water items. I'm gonna use those now, just to be filled up. But let's see, okay, we need to construct an oxygen capsule. And then it says here the recipe is two copper wire and quartz. And then you have, okay, copper wire, how's that? Well, it's here. And for that you need copper and iron. And quartz you pick up outside uh, until you get mining, of course, but it's floating around like pick up little pieces. So we gotta go pick up some iron, copper and iron as well. Because since we don't have any mining tools, we can't deal with the bigger uh, chunks here. We gotta rely on what we can just grab, like this. And just float around. Don't go too far. Because most of what you need is gonna be right near here, near the, near the module. Including items like this, uh, organics that are used for making food. So yeah, it's a very easy start. I think you're gonna get a hang of it really fast. Just grabbing a few more here, and as you can see, because we don't have any uh, equipment yet, we are running out of oxygen very fast. And that's also another reason to actually stay close, don't uh, take any chances. Because there is cops running in this game, which means when you die you're gonna drop your stuff, and then you're gonna have to go and pick it up. So, let's see how much we got, we got two, that's enough to make two copper wires. One, two. And what was it more we needed? We needed quartz. We didn't pick any of that up, so we'll go find that. It sort of looks like some green, grayish crystals, uh, which can be a bit tricky to spot uh, with this background. But just float around and you'll eventually learn how to pick up those visual signatures. There's one up here. Grab that. And I think that's gonna be fine. We, I can't remember the stuff we need for the other uh, the jetpack, so we'll just go in and check that because it will be nice to get this oxygen tank going. Okay. Yes. So the way this works is you just press tab to enter inventory, then you click and drag and put it over here on your character. And now we have a bit more oxygen. Good. Next point, jetpack. Jetpack, two iron, two coal, and copper wire. We don't have any copper, so we can't make wire. And we don't have any coal. So let's go find that. Again, looking for smaller. There's a lot of small ones here. Coal, you can often find here in the beginning by looking for the, the bigger pieces, because it might have smaller pieces floating around it. Just grabbing that. Grab that. Now we actually get three here. And we've got a new blueprint for a power cell. And that uh, will be useful unless we actually find one in the beginning here, which we might actually do. I'll show you in a moment. Let's go back inside and make the jetpack. So the jetpack required copper wire as well. That requires copper and iron. Build that, and now we can make the jetpack. Again, the same as before, click and drag. And that's it. So, backpack time. Backpack, electronic parts and silver. Silver we don't have in the near vicinity. And 
the electronic part we can make with copper wire and iron. So if we don't make, just make that, we can make that. And now we are only missing the silver. So let's go and find that. And actually, let's do something on the way. Little tip here. When you want to empty your bags, instead of just clicking one item at a time, shift click. Then it moves all the same type of material at the same time. Like that, like that, like that. Don't need to bring that. We're going to need all the space because the place we're going to is going to have a lot of items with, that we actually need. <clears throat> but we talked about you, we got a blueprint for power cell. Well, actually, there's also a power cell located here in this crate. Let's grab that. And there was another crate down here. We did bring oxygen, that's good. Grab all that. Now we've got a blueprint for an asteroid miner. We won't need that anytime soon. We're gonna go over here. No, actually, let me show you first because otherwise it won't make sense. Uh, and as you see, now we have a jetpack down in the lower right corner. One full boost of 100% will push us 60 meters before the boost ends. Oh, we got a little bit of impact damage there. So take the 60 meters into consideration when you're moving around. Uh, or in combined with the oxygen, of course. What I wanted to show you before we go get the silver is that we have this terminal. This enables signals and it also gives you a little bit of lore, a little backstory. Marcella here has uh, made a little bit of storage down on an asteroid before they left. And that's where we're going to go. And grab that storage. Might grab that little box on the way. That gives a little bit of items. When you come to this point, you'll notice there's a red robot. It's not friendly. <laughs> it's a drone and it will, uh, a bomb drone, and it will explode if it gets, if it gets to you. We're gonna let it discover us and then we're gonna move away. And eventually it will blow up and uh, we didn't get hurt this time. Healy's behind a few materials, which is good. We got a bit of quartz here. This is where we need the power cell. This is a power panel that drives this door. We're just going to put the power cell in here. And we got access to this little base. This is where my cellar was. Now in here we want to pick up blueprint. And another blueprint. So now we can see we've got the build tool, we've got the laser tool, and we've got some habitat items. As well as we can read a bit of a log here which says that whoever finds this, go pick up the key over here. And that key will access, give you access to a storage room. Which is exactly what we need. Let's just take what's here. Oh yeah, we're gonna need this as well. We're not going to be able to avoid coming back here, to be honest, uh, unfortunately. So you might want to check, is there anything I can eat or drink now? This is a bit of a waste, but, you know, th and the reason I'm saying that is because I know that there's going to be eight iron bars inside here. But it maybe it's not priority because we're not going to build habitats just yet, but we do need silver to make the other stuff. So just to show you all the iron bar and what to take into consideration once you go back here with backspace and such. This big one here, we're not going to spend time on that because it it doesn't really reward as much. I think there's a bit of an unbalance in the bigger ones. Uh, you know, percentage-wise, uh, spend up the energy cells of the miner compared to how much you get. So it's still better just to stick to the smaller ones. Nothing here. We just want to pick up all the silver we can get here. And then we can always come back for the stuff inside the storage room. Okay, let's just make room for one more silver actually, like that. Also, there's another crate here. With a few items that are also useful. But we're going to go back. And you know, that's just the way it is. You can't have it all, right? 
kind of have the cake and eat it. <laughs> so, but we're going to get better, better stuff that will enable us to, to be more efficient eventually. So peaceful and quiet here, right? Beautiful scenery. Come on, let's get up there. Good. So let's remind ourselves we got enough stuff for the backpack. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four times seven, that's 28 slots. And once we build that, and put it on. We now got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got 14 more slots. That's uh, quite nice. Next up, mining tool. Very useful item. We have the stuff we need except for the battery. The battery needs coal. Let's just see if we stored any. Oh, we did. We can make the battery. We can make the mining tool. Go into your bag, drag it down to one. It will still take up a slot in the bag. That's just the way it is. But now we have a mining tool. As you can see, it has a percentage marking on it. That's the battery. At the bottom, you can see it says X, switch battery, which means you can actually just on the fly uh, switch out batteries. And actually makes it makes sense to make one already. So you don't have to come back. Uh, I mean, you will have to come back because we don't have a charger yet. We will have that once we build the habitat. So let's see, we have enough here. We do have a lot of iron. Actually, let's pick that up and start making iron bars. And then we can consider go back down to Marcellus because we're gonna need a lot of iron bars to make habitats. Uh, what do we have in terms of tools? Do we have a builder tool? We don't, we also need to make that in order to build a habitat. Data transformer and battery. We can make data transformer, whoops. And we still need coal for that. Let's put this in here. Let's put everything back. Actually, we don't need right now. Uh, that one, that one. Just keep that. Let's go to Marcellus. Oh, what was it we needed? We needed battery. That's coal. So let's see if we can find some coal on the way. And now that we have the miner, actually, we can just go mine it. Let's just do that, actually. Let's uh, hit this. We're going to get two coal lumps from this one, I think, if I remember correctly. And it's going to cost us 5% in power. 6%. That's because I ignited the tool early. So the tool will spend power. If you just started using it out here in thin air, it will drag percentages or use percentages. So don't do that. Uh, just use it for what it's uh, useful for. Ouch. Impact damage. Let's get the silver. And let's focus on the iron boss first. I say and grab a piece of silver. <laughs> These. Because we're going to spend every single one of those on one habitat room so yeah you can see why i wanted to get that oh we got a lot of stuff here as well not gonna bother with that silver there ah come on let me throw maybe we can fit in the crate here in our inventory we could <coughs> So I just want to check before we go home, this little box here, if it's one of the open kind, because there might be a power cell in that. Yep. And we did bring oxygen tanks, so we can go check this out. 
there's also some coal we can deal with. Ah, do we have space for that? Yeah, let's grab those first. Like that. Perfect. This, oh, there we go, fabric. Very welcome indeed. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. It's iron. Maybe copper wire because it takes some copper and iron. Go. Oh, electronic parts. That's cool. We're gonna. Can we make it back home? Uh, it's gonna be close. I'm gonna use it. There we go. Not gonna take any chances. So, the builder tool, battery, we can make that now. And the data transformer, did we have that? Yes. So now we can make the builder tool. Perfect. Into the inventory, put that in place. And that also relies on battery. So now you're beginning to see why it's going to be necessary with more than one battery in each item. Good. Now we are back to following the habits or the quest plan. And we can use the builder tool by right clicking the mouse. Then we get options to build uh, different kinds of items. It's asking us to build the base building, which is habitat room. And that's why we needed all those bars. So you can see eight iron bars and copper wire. We're going to need four more bars to make the airlock. Uh, so let's see how much we got. One, two, three, four. We only have eight, and then we have enough to make one more. Oh, we actually have more here, so that's gonna be fine. Let's make that. And then find out what was it more? Electronic part and fabric. We do have that. Perfect, we can make both the habitat room and the airlock. So you gotta start thinking three dimensionally here, because you're gonna be able to build on top and on bottom. And out to every side and you know to avoid having to deal with big stuff like that where you can't build through of of course there's a nice, nice big open space right here but that's where i've been uh, liking to put my stuff so basically just make the first one habitat room you can use the scroll wheel to push it away so you get a better overview and then rotate with q and e and let's go like this And now we can make, let's make the airlock first. Uh, that's this one. I thought we made enough bars. Oh, we didn't take them out of the box, did we? Let's take them out. One, two, three. We're gonna make the airlock and rotate it so it, you know, fits and don't bother worrying about this because the emptiness will be filled out like that now we have a station we can come into that is in fact pressurized so we don't spend any oxygen in here this is going to become our new home away from the rescue module now it's asking us to build a habitat corridor which is this one we need more iron and you can start to see that iron is just one of those things that is like the base material of this game. Let's get busy mining. And since one meteor of these smaller types equals one bar you can just you know if you need four bars mine four medias simple as that okay one two three four what else do we need for that we need a couple wire we do have that so we can just basically go out and build it 
Now, this is where you have to start making considerations because it's not obvious yet. Of course, you could, you're welcome to do your own experiences here. I'm just gonna give you a tip. Um, because as you see here, we're gonna, no, we can't, I can't even show it to you yet, but I will be able to in a moment. Um, let's just build the corridor first and then I'll explain afterwards. I'm gonna put it here. So we've got a lot of new stuff that we now build. Twists and turns and C-sections and X-sections and uh, elevations, stuff like that, bigger habitat rooms. We also got solar panels and batteries. And what I was talking about a moment ago is that the solar panels, I think I can actually do a placeholder at least. They will fit on this one here on the side, but if you put an X or T crossing or X crossing here, it will not work. Or if you place this first, you cannot place an X or T crossing here. So take that into consideration. What I found is that I like to make one long corridor, which is basically just a solar panel corridor. The batteries that the quest mission thing is now telling us, talking to us about is this one. This is gonna increase the amount of power that we can store in the base. It goes here or it goes on the bottom, doesn't matter. You're gonna be making several of these anyways in order to keep up with the, <gasps> oh my God. I was <laughs> nearly dying there. You're gonna be making several of these batteries uh, to keep the power going in the base. Uh, the more machines and processes you, you got running. So yeah, but yeah, my suggestion is uh, take this into consideration with solar panels um, and also the way you're going to use sections and corridors. If you're going to use one long corridor, it will take three corridor pieces to fit two solar panels on each side. So actually you can see it's actually overlapping the end of the corridor. Yeah, so two solar panels per three corridors. Let's get inside a little bit just to... Another thing to note is that you can actually build this stuff from inside. You don't have to be outside. So if you look here on the right side, it says Habitat Corridor, Overlapping Falls, is snapped, not snapped. If I go like this, now it's snapped to the end. You can't see it, but the, just the fact alone that it says snapped means that it's connected to this piece here. So if I was to build it now, I don't think I can. We don't have any iron. Then it would just open and you will have the further, the longer corridor. So yeah, that might save you some time. And that goes for, for anything of these, any one of these. But yeah, now we need to follow the quest directions again. We need to build a power panel. We need to build a habitat battery. And we need to build a solar panel. So power panel is here. And we actually have the stuff we need for that. And I like to keep it here because uh, it's nice to you know have an overview as soon as you come into your base. It's just gonna start up. On usable power zero, current power capacity zero, it needs 52. That's just the building alone. And it's generating no power every five seconds. So now we have that taken care of. We need to figure out how to make this. We need two iron bars and we need silver. Thank God we have that and electronics we have as well. Let's see how much iron we have. We have two. That means we need four more in order to make two bars. Go like this. That's six. Let's go in and make those. Go in here. One, two. And that should be enough, right, to make... Yeah. Let's go place the battery. So batteries go on top. Solar panels go on sides, but batteries go on top and on bottom. And just get close enough to fit this. Light it is up. That means the base is running. Let's go inside and check the power panel. So you can see we have a capacity of 125 and it needs 52 to be sustainable. We don't, we're not making any power yet because we haven't added the solar panel. That's what we're gonna do now. And to do that, we need iron bar, we need copper bar, we need glass. Glass is from quartz. 
And we need to meet, uh, mine more iron. <laughs> We're getting used to that, right? Oh, is that cool? And there we go. Oh, wrong tool. Mm hmm. Let's go here. And what else do we have? We have cover. And we didn't really need that yet, but I know we're going to need it eventually, so it's not just, let's just grab it. Um, we need to consider some quartz, see if we can find some quartz again. There's one piece out here. Warning. Where's the base? I need to go back. Like that. Okay, glass we can now make. And what else do we need? To make the panel. One copper bar and two iron bars. One, two. Do we have a copper bar? Yes, we do. Let's just use that. We actually need to have quartz as well. So, let me show you now. Now we can place that solar panel. There we go. And you can see we can also dock them on the side here. Instead of making one long. Let's go in. So, we already have three power now. That's because it's making one power every five seconds. Um, but yeah, it might not make sense yet. But as soon as we build a fabricator like the one on the rescue module, it's going to make sense. Because the process of, for example, making one iron bar that costs 0 0.5 power and that's going to be deducted from these seven here uh, and of course there are other processes that just you know use power on a continuous basis like the mining laser which is why i suggest not making it right away uh, unless of course you're ready to build a whole lot of solar panels that can keep up with the the expenditure of power so now we have those we can uh, start making the most useful machinery like the fabricator so we can move our stuff that was a little bit of water there 2.2 let's just drink that okay fabricator that needs iron bar silver and data transformer we need to take that iron And the data transformer needs electronics part and quartz, so we can actually make that, I think, yeah. Good. So the only thing we are missing is iron bars, which we, by now, have a pretty good idea of how to make, but we did have the resource for that, so let's go down and fit this. Okay, fabricator goes in here for me. Yeah, tip. If you know you're going to expand your base in either direction here, don't place it on the middle, even though it's tempting. I, I know I did the first time. It was like, ah, oh, that looks nice, centered and all that. But as soon as you start putting in corridors and rooms, you're going to be placing it like this in the middle of a corridor. So yeah, for me, it's this is a natural place now to place uh, the atoms. Or of course, along the wall here. I just like this better like that roughly so this is basically the same one as the, in the rescue module and what else we're gonna need we are gonna need uh, what can we make actually this is to put up signals like the one we have in the rescue module as well then we have storage this one contains 45 uh, slots and therefore is my favorite <laughs> it does consume 10 power so yeah take that into consideration let's see how much we have right now we have 125 and we're spending one two that means 112 um but yeah and then this one you're gonna need 
then we can start charging batteries. So one iron bar. And we see that actually needs 15, right? And then it uses power continuously to power up the batteries. But we, we will need it, so we, there's no way around it. Uh, iron bar. Let's go and take care of that. Got a lot of iron here. And this down here is gold. It takes quite a while to mine, so don't worry about that yet. Because you won't be able to make it into bars anyway uh, until you have the smelter. And we don't have the smelter yet, so... Kind of... Yeah. Just have to wait. Whoops. Now we're almost out of power. Which is also why we need that charger. Just want to be reminded what it was. We need the iron bar, just one. Like that. And I'd like to keep this uh, by the entrance as well. Seems kind of natural that you can just zoom in, switch the power batter uh, the batteries, and then zoom out again. Place that here. See, we moved to 117, so we have to consider now building a solar panel first. And this is where you can put empty batteries. Um, since this battery is almost depleted, in order for you to use the tool while we're actually charging the battery, we need to make another battery. And that needs copper wire and coal. We have coal. I'm just going to make one copper wire and make the battery. So we don't have to wait till it's down to zero. We can basically just change it now. And the way to do that is press X, move the battery. Now it's full, but we have the empty battery here. And I just click the charger and, and moved it over basically. And you can see it trickles. Uh, we actually have to make another solar panel. Get two boards uh, running out of power. So copper power glass and two iron bars. Let's see what we're capable of. We only make one. But now we're good with the charging again. Quartz for glass. And just grab the rescue module because it was closest. We have a lot of silver in stock here. We have fabric. We actually have copper and a little bit of electronics there. So we were going to make solar panel, copper bar, glass, iron bar. One more, copper bar. Quartz, we need two. I don't, do we have one here? I thought we had one, to be honest. We don't. So we have to go pick up one more quartz. Find it somewhere. Look at all the stuff over here. It's got to be a piece around close nearby here. So hard to spot them sometimes. Kind of like they just appear in your peripheral vision. Let's go over here again to this little module here and see if we, we didn't empty all of the crates here, did we? Maybe we're lucky that there are any quartz in here. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Warning. Good. Glass. And I think that should be enough, right? We have not to make the solar panel. Let's, let's go out and do that. And let's place that on the other side here. Uh, there we go. Flip that in there. So now we have a little bit more flexibility in terms of power usage. 
We are now at 125, 117. We're making two every five seconds. And now we're going to make a battery as well, because we're going to be needing the extra capacity to, um, you know, expand. Two electronic parts, two iron bars, and one silver. One, two, one. And silver, we do have that in the containers, don't we, or the storage? Uh, 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 electronics. Yep, yeah, do have silver. We do have silver and we need both copper wire and iron. So iron again is the most useful item we could have. And reminding ourselves two electronic parts. That's two. And then we're gonna place it just underneath the other one here. Come on. There we go. So we now have increased capacity up to 250. And this battery still trickling slowly away. I wonder, are we... We do have usable power, so I'm wondering why it's taking so long, actually. Shouldn't be, but yeah. Good. I think we should make the terminal. So we are going to make an iron bar if we have enough mats. We do. And then we're going to put a terminal. I'm going to place it right here, actually. Seems like a natural spot. And you can see it's basically the same as before. We have the old hop station here. And what else do we need by now? Now we can start thinking about storage. Three iron bars and one data transformer. How much do we have? We don't have enough. Because we want to move completely over to this place, right? So that should be enough for the um, store facility here. And hopefully it's not gonna drag our power to the bottom. Nope, we're still good. You can see that can hold a lot of stuff. Let's just move on here now that we don't need to bring with us all the time. We should also consider getting some water really, really fast. Yep, I know. There we go. Eat a burger. Now I don't need to heal up. Get all that. Goodbye with the module. Well, not goodbye. We're probably going to use it anyways because it's nice to just be able to have something close by hand in case we run out of oxygen. Open that up. Move stuff over. Maybe just keep one. And that's it, guys. From here on, you're on your own. I'm sure you're going to make it just fine. But thanks for stopping by in this video. And I'll see you in the next where we progress even further. Getting more of these interesting machines and stuff we can build. So yeah, take care. Bye.